Think of the Internet of Bodies as a subset of, and a progression of, the Internet of Things. Many devices are moving onto and into our bodies. These chips are about the size of a grain of rice and are implanted just under the surface of the skin. These technologies can make us more capable, more efficient, more productive, and make our lives more convenient. In many ways, we've been merging into the age of the Internet of Bodies for quite a while. Think about the clothes you're wearing right now. Electronics are getting smaller and can be integrated onto wearable stickers and into fabrics. So imagine that your clothes were covered with microsensors that measure your heart rate and body temperature, and they sense that you were feeling overly stressed. So they emitted gentle vibrations around your tense shoulders to help you relieve stress and you took a second to breathe. The Internet of Bodies will be able to automatically interact with your smart home and other Internet of Things devices. So your smart underwear could automatically connect to your smart thermostat and you wouldn't even need to think about adjusting the temperature in your house. You might start wearing contact lenses even if you don't need your vision corrected because your smart contact lenses will be able to tell you the weather forecast or the name and title of the new person you're about to run into. You'll be able to control your smartphone from your eyes and videos will be beamed directly into your contact lenses. A built-in personal assistant could be implanted right into your brain. Instead of typing up your shopping lists or social media posts on a keyboard, you could have a brain-computer interface that automatically types your words when you simply think about them.